Welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to upload course materials onto UEW Learning Management System. This tutorial is divided into two parts. Part 1 is about how to upload a file or a resource. And part 2 is about how to upload the next resource or file. Having logged in and on the home page, you see the courses that have been assigned to you. In my case, my name is a teacher demo and I have only one course assigned to me. To upload course materials for a course, you have to locate the course and click on it. When you open the course, you will be presented with topics that you can edit and enter your own topics and you can also add activities. To add course materials or resource, you would first have to turn editing on. There are a lot of things that you can add to your lesson. To add an activity or resource to your lesson, you have to click on this link, add an activity or resource. When you click on it, it will present to you a list of activities and resources. The common ones which are generally used are assignment, chat, forum, quiz, and then the resources to the one we normally use is file, and then the URL that is linked to external resources. So in this tutorial, we are going to look at how to upload resources. So we are going to choose file, and then click on add. This will enable us to upload files such as PDF, PowerPoint presentation, or Word document. Any file at all can be uploaded here. Now we'll give our file a name. So since this is the first file we're uploading, we are going to name it Course Align. After typing the name of the file, we can choose to give a description of the file. So this is a short description of written under it. Now scrolling down, we have display description on course page. When we check this, the description we've written here will be shown on the course page. Then coming down, we have content. This is where we are going to upload the file. So to upload the file, we can either open our file explorer and drag the file onto the space here. Or we are going to click inside the box, the arrow pointing down, and this dialog box will open. Then we click on upload the file. Then the first item that is attachment, we are going to click on choose file. It will open the file picker for us, and we are going to pick our file to be uploaded. So we're going to pick any file and upload. After picking the file, we can decide to save it with a name, any name we want to save it with. And then click on upload. After clicking on upload, the file will be shown in the select file box the next thing is we can choose the appearance of the file so the first item here says display we will always put it on automatic then we can also show the file size you have the option to show the file size so when the students log in and want to download the file they will see the file size that is if we check this then we can also show the file type whether it's a pdf 
or test file or word document we can also check this to show it then we can also show the date that we uploaded the file or the date that we modified the file there are more options that we can explore to see what they do if we want to know more information about a particular item there's a help link beside it when we click on it it will bring explanation of what that particular item or activity does so we read and we get a clue on what that particular item does then we move to common model settings this is something that we we wouldn't want to make any changes and then we have restrict access which restrict access after clicking on add restriction we have four items here the first one is restricting access with date and the restrict access we can restrict the course until a date that has been specified by us it means that when we select date and we set a date on it no student will be able to open the resource until the date is due so until or from a particular date so if we change this to 23rd April if the date is not 23rd April the student cannot open the file and then these two drop down boxes here is for time so maybe at 5 a.m. then we add restriction so this restricts the student from opening the file or we can restrict the, the course or the material to some particular student who have attained a particular grade that is with the grade option and then with user profile we can restrict the course to students who have a particular settings on their profile for instance have the student entered their email address or have the student posted their profile picture if the student hasn't posted any profile picture then the student cannot open the course material now after doing all the settings we click on save and continue to course then our file will be uploaded onto the learning management system nicely so this is the description we typed and then we decided to show the date and time and then the file size and then the file type to the test file is here to upload the course material we have sections that have been named topic one two three four so meaning we can break down our lessons into topics or lessons to upload your material or let's say upload lesson one we will change this topic to suit the file that we will be uploading so meaning we will have to edit this by clicking on the edit link over here so when we click on it we will get edit topic after clicking on edit topic we want to change the name from topic one to any topic we want to use so we are going to uncheck this when we don't uncheck it we can't type inside so we have to uncheck it to enable us type inside so for instance i'm going to enter something like uh, lesson one
then we can give a summary of the lesson what it is or what it's about we give a summary of it then we click on save changes now the changes that we made we change from topic 1 to lesson 1 to add the file or the resource you will have to click on this link add an activity or resource so this is the file we just uploaded it is showing the description then it is showing the file size then the document type is a or the file type is word document and then the time the file was uploaded is also shown the date and time so this is the process that we are going to go through or we'll be going through to upload all our course materials so this is shortly how to upload a file on UW LMS.